Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of April general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Aquarius, someone rising Venus individuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Goodbye Love by Guy, okay? So in that group, we have ourselves a Leo, a Libra, and a Gemini. So you can be dealing with a Leo, Libra, or Gemini, someone rising Venus individual. Um, what I got with this, I, I literally heard <laughs> clear as day, adios amigos, bye, see you later, you know, take care. Because even in the hook of the song, they say goodbye love. Like they say that over and over again in the hook of the song. And I also heard the part where I think it's like the bridge. And they said, you said you'd never leave me. I said you, I'd never leave you. And, they, and he says, but fairy tales don't always come true. So for some of you guys, you're realizing like, you may be putting a light on this person or putting this person on a pedestal and you're realizing like, okay, I, I, the illusion is, is, is shook up, is broke up. We're Mercury retrograde. So for some people, they may see things in a warped concept. But for you, I feel like this Mercury retrograde is going to make you see things very clearly. Like you're realizing like you really have seen a person in the light that they're not truly sitting in. They don't truly walk in that light. You know what I mean? Like the sun rises and sets on this person's, you know, on their throne, on their ass for you. Or that's how it has been. And you realize like this person is not even who I thought they were. They're not even a fraction of who I thought they were. Well, they don't give me that same type of energy. So why am I doing that with them? And, and it's like, you know what? It's time for you to leave a situation that just doesn't resonate anymore. But it's interesting because the title of the song is Goodbye Love. So you still got love for this person, but you just realize it may not be the healthiest for you. Something about the health of the relationship, okay? Now, also, if you're single, this could be what you're dealing with right now. Again, Mercury retrograde, Mercury is communication and mental. So on a mental level, that past situation is coming back to the surface for you, for a lot of you all. And you're realizing, like, I did what was best. Because you may have been beating yourself over, like, I regret leaving this person. I don't like being lonely. I don't like being single. Or did I do the wrong thing or the right thing? I feel like you're getting confirmation during this time as well. You guys know tomorrow... Because today as I'm doing this reading, it's April 7th. Tomorrow, April 8th, is a new moon. I always say three days before, during, and three days after new and full moons, that veil is thinner. You can see things clearly in ways that you didn't see it before. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting some reality checks. You're seeing some realizations, and you're realizing, like, I wasn't tripping. I did what was necessary, you know. Or if you're still questioning right now, yeah, you're getting some clarity here, Okay. So, before I start, I want to let you guys know I am doing a discount reading sale, okay, tomorrow. It starts at 8 a.m. It will end at midnight. I'll leave a link on, on the community section here on YouTube as well as on my Instagram, okay? All the information is in the description box below. If you click the link for my Instagram, it'll take you there. You'll see the post talking about the sale. And then also my Etsy shop, that's where you will be ordering the reading if you would like to um, participate in a discount reading sale, Okay. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. Somebody was faking the funk. Now, the Nine of Cups is happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, but I always say rap bastard, okay? Somebody was faking the funk. On the outside, everything looked good, felt happy, but, you know, that rap bastard right there, Jack, is just like something ain't right. Someone can be born in the year of the rat also, or somebody's going to snitch on themselves. Rats, you know, they, that's people who snitch on themselves also. You may snitch on yourself. To the universe, like you just be talking to your spirit guides and guardians, like you know what? I'm trying to act happy, but I'm not. I'm not happy here. Bottom of the deck, back to the same cards, 78 cards. So that's how I know. Okay, it's time for me to go ahead and shuffle. Cause you've seen I did quite a few shuffles just now, and it's like you're back to that same energy. Right up under you, two of wands, needing to choose a destination or a direction to go in. That's what I'm saying. He's got his little luggage pack, and it's like, you know what? I don't even want to take anything with me. I just want to go. I just want a new start. That's what I'm getting. We're in Aries season, so it does look like that fiery energy, right? It's like, I just want to go. That's that's what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get your Major Arcana, which is the star card. So we're going to get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. The star for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Yeah, I keep hearing that. You said you'd never leave me. I said I'd never leave you. But fairy tales don't always come true. So someone having a realization like this never was what I thought it was. Look at this. <laughs> We're all the way at the back of the deck before we got your card. So it may have taken you a long time to come to this conclusion about this connection here. 
So right in front of this card you have, yep, it took a long time, wow. The moon, things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity, the subconscious and intuition. So some of you guys are finding it out. Coming to the, it's coming to the surface. You got that crab right there coming to the surface. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or someone who has strong cancer, someone rising via his placements in their chart. There's your energy and then you have three of cups. It's, it's kind of like you prefer to be happier or you feel like you'll be happier if you were free. They look like they're free. You know, definitely could be dealing with a water sign. And uh, I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, you found this out in Aries season. Again, we're in Aries season right now. Also, you could be married to this person. That, that may be a reason why you try to stick it out because the emperor is the divine counterpart of the empress. That's long-term companionship there. But you got a moon. And again, I'm going to say this, this, this new moon is tomorrow. Hell, you may need a reading. Seriously. And that's not me just trying to promote it. You guys seen it. I just went through the cards. I didn't put that there. You may need a reading. And remember I was saying three days before, three days during, the, and you know, three days before, during, and three days after the full of new moon, you get those confirmations. Some of you guys need some type of clarity because you may feel confused right now about what to do moving forward. Hmm. Let's get clarifiers. Yeah, not knowing which direction to go in. The hermit, seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. And if you look at it in his lantern, there's a star that's representative of your energy also. So some of you guys feel lost. You don't know what to do. Some of you guys could be uh, feeling as though a third party is what caused interference in your relationship. Or you may be interested in somebody else and you're already in a relationship. Because you do have one, two, three beings here. And then you got three beings here. And it's these individuals' energy, right? On each side of you. So you may be feeling like either someone you're dealing with is dealing with a third party. Or you may be interested in somebody else and you don't want to be deceitful. Or you don't want to, you know, hmm. Let's let's see. Let's part the deck. The devil, yeah. You're some a lot of you guys are already bound to someone. You're already in some type of karmic contract. Could be done with a Capricorn with the devil. But again, I was just getting ready to say adultery. Like some of you guys, if you're married, because this is definitely someone who's married, you don't want to be an adulteress, you don't want to cheat, but you would rather be single. You would rather be out to be free to be able to do whatever you want to, or you could be feeling like someone that you're dealing with is doing that. Now, if you're completely single, again, I'm gonna say. This could be past situations that you're dealing with and you're, it's coming back to the surface now so you can heal it to wrap up that contract, okay? That energetic contract. Because if you keep holding on to that energy, you're never going to be able to move forward. World card, travel distance, forward movement in reverse. You'll never be able to move forward, okay? Now you got the, the hermit in reverse. You'll never be able to move forward until you find out what made you stay in a situation or what made you feel obligated to stay in something that made you unhappy for so long. For some of you all. Could be children. It's a lot of time it's children or financial obligations. Okay. Bottom of the deck still. <laughs> you watch me. You watch me. Somebody definitely feels lost. I feel like you guys feel lost. I'm telling you, tomorrow, 8 a.m. <laughs> that reading, the uh the reading, the discounted readings will be available. So go ahead and purchase you a reading if you feel inclined to. Let's get clarify for the moon. Clarify for the moon for Aquarius, some rising Venus individuals. Okay. You got the King of Cups right here. Look, I'm trying not to move anything out of place. You have King of Cups, and then we'll flip that on the table. I'm going to say this again. Something with family, okay? Some of you guys have a water sign child. The Page of Cups makes me think about, you know, pages make me think about youth. I'm going to take this, okay? Because I, the way it landed right here is, is goes into everything I was saying. Some of you guys, there's a family situation that got flipped upside down. And I'm going to say again, something with a contract has ended. Could have been a marriage because you have this in reverse. There's a karmic contract there. Some of you guys may be ending a contract with someone in um, Taurus season, okay? Because you have the Empress right here, Taurus, Libra, okay? And then you have Gemini. There could be a Gemini involved. There's an ending or a breakup, a disillusion of a connection I'm getting, okay? So this is confirmation for a lot of, for a lot of you guys. It's definitely a water sign. You got water, 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 water. Oh, water. Everything here is water. You got strong water placements in your chart. Um, also, it could have been like in Pisces season, you may have been talking to yourself and saying, self, you know what? I'm not happy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy in this life that I'm in. I know I don't want to break up my family, but I'm not happy here. And you could have made this decision mentally and on an emotional level in Pisces season, but it's like something is getting ready to play out. Like it's, it's really starting to play out in Aries season. And then by possibly by Taurus season, you may be like, you know what? I, we got to wrap this up. And I'm not saying this to break up families. Absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying. If this resonates with you, then you know it resonates with you. 
But if it doesn't, it doesn't. For some of you guys, I do feel very strong. That could be the case. I'm going to tell you with all this water. Also, somebody on an emotional level has been trying to hold their feelings back. You see how you can't really read this expression? But someone knows that the relationship is over. That ship is behind him. So anything behind you is the past. Someone knows that, you know, this situation is done. It's over with. This is, is, you're ready to go through a new cycle in life. Even just trying to stay in it for the family. The family isn't happy all together. And hell, it could even be a child, a water sign, a child that comes out and just comes straight out and say it. Like, you and mom or you and whatever, however your family dynamic is, you guys just don't seem happy. You guys argue about this, 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 you know. And it helps you realize, like, I'm not keeping, I'm not making anybody happy by staying in this relationship. In fact, everybody's miserable now. Now, also, for those of you who are single, again, you're, this topic, whatever happened in the past, come back to the surface so that you can regain your emotional stability after a, a, a difficult breakup of a family uni unit or something like that. That's coming back to the forefront for you now during that time for that reason as well, so that you can heal. And a lot of you guys, I'm going to say this, your focus is going to be on your children. A lot of you all, is your focus is going to be on your children. If you don't have a water sign, can't spice Scorpio child, you may have a child that's very emotional. Okay? And as your focus right now is to, you know, help this these child or children get back to a place of happiness and peace after a separation of a family or something like that. Because I, I definitely feel like there was a family dynamic that was affected by some changes in a relationship status. And you, right now, a lot of you all are just focusing on helping this child become grounded and stable again after this new shift environment. People could have moved out and things like that. I feel like that's a biggie for a lot of individuals right now as well. <clears throat> okay? So, Aquarius, Summer Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.